Okay, so as some of you out there might know in the Jurassic fandom, there is this big discussion going on right now about how accurate the Jurassic World uh, T-Rex is compared to it, how the T-Rex looked in the original film. Uh, and obviously people have been reaching out to like Colin Trevorrow to try and uh, ask him to make it more accurate to the original T-Rex and this, that and the other. And, uh, and it's blown up. Like this conversation has gotten... Uh, pretty huge uh, considering all things considered um, obviously a lot of people are stuck at home right now due to this uh, coronavirus business so uh, you know there's a lot of time on people's hands and at the moment it's all talking about how accurate is the Jurassic World T-Rex to the Jurassic Park T-Rex and I figured you know what I'm going to give my two cents and in, in do a bit of detective work in a video and let's see uh, you know how deep does the rabbit hole go with this um, I will say right off the bat, it is uh, basically when they brought back the T-Rex in Jurassic World, they scanned a maquette, which I believe is this one here, um, which was a Stan Winston maquette that uh, they had available to them and they didn't have other assets available to them to help them recreate the Rex. But they took this maquette and they uh, scanned it in. And this maquette is technically inaccurate to what we see in the final film of the original Jurassic Park because they, uh, you know, they they tweaked it uh, and whatnot for that original film from this design. That's what I'm hearing. But I, you know, when you look at the head here on the T-Rex and then you look at the head here on the T-Rex, uh, I don't know. I actually have cut this out. So let's just have a look. Let's have a look. This is the sort of detective work we're doing here. So, uh, oh God, how am I going to do this? So let me flip the image. Uh, wait, well, why can't I find the hit flip tool? There we go. Flip it like that. I'm just going to flip it like that and then copy this and then flip it back. Delete that and paste. There we go. And you can kind of see they did change from what I can tell the, the this area this area here looks about the same uh, the eye sort of ridge goes up like that and get a smaller brush because I've got a too, too thick a brush here uh, let's go to two so yeah so you can see it goes up like that uh, you can see the bumps here there's like it goes up and then it goes up again up again like that and then it goes kind of like that whereas this one it's sort of more smooth and you can kind of see how the uh i i don't know if the bottom jaws changed the bottom jaw looks pretty pretty similar but as you can see here if you were to take the the bottom jaw of this t-rex let's see if we can do this it just this is all going to be rough to begin with I'm not going to cut this out perfectly, but because we're just looking at how they changed the T-Rex for uh, the original film. This is going to be really rough, by the way. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> so basically, yeah, it, it's pretty much there, but there are there are very, very, very slight differences. I mean, I mean, look at that. Oh, wait, I got the wrong wrong layer. So you got yeah, look at that. That's pre it's pretty much there, but there are there are some subtle differences. But the point is, they slightly tweaked this maquette for the final film of Jurassic Park uh, to get their you know their design for the CGI Rex down. Um, but the animatronic T Rex. Now let me see if I can open up an image. The animatronic T Rex in the original film. Uh, where are we looking? Here we are. Uh, if you obviously compare the two T-Rexes in the original uh, film, where is this? There it is. Uh, you can see that, like, I mean, I know this shot here on the on the right is uh, is a bit blurry. This is from the Jeep chase sequence. This was the best shot directly face on of the CGI Rex that uh, you know that I could find. But you could already see that, like, you know, the the side of the head here is more flattened, whereas the side of the head on this, and I know they're at slightly different angles, but it sort of goes round like this. It's like <laughs> it's got really big, thick uh, cheeks in this one, and then you got the little jaw down there, 
and uh, and the mouth goes round like this, whereas you know it's got a more thin thin head here. The jaw goes out. It's basically actually, if I look at this, if I go back, you know, the T Rex and uh, CGI version. If you like, draw an X on the top of its horns and the base of its cheeks. I think I can see that there. It's pretty much a square. Like it's it's like you can pretty much get the T Rex head in the animatronic one in a square. It's yeah. Let me just try and do like a basic outline so you can see. I can kind of see. Or maybe if actually, if I can I lighten this side. Let's brighten this up. Okay, that's a little bit better. But. Yeah, so that goes round like this, down like that, round like this, like so, and then you have like the eyes. Then I know the head's slightly turned, so you got the little, little nostrils here, and you got the bumps that go down like that. But uh, yeah, and you got you got the eye, like that, and that's just so. You can see already that the, you know, the head, that's very rough, but you can see that the head isn't the same shape as this. Um, now, that basically means there are two different designs of the T-Rex in the original film. There's obviously the animatronic version and there's the uh, CGI version, and they're, they're different. Like, there's, they obviously, in, in the first film, like, your the experience of watching the first film and this that and the other it really doesn't matter that they're different it's like you know you you you're convinced that it's the same dinosaur or whatever so uh it, that doesn't really matter however when recreating the t-rex for the 2015 film the filmmakers felt like they needed to kind of you know scan this version which looks ex like as i just pointed out looks extremely similar to the CGI version just with a couple of minor tweaks to the bumps or whatever um, and then uh, they they wanted to create yeah a mixture between uh, the CGI one which is basically that maquette that they scanned and the animatronic which we see here um, and how they went about doing that was uh, was all in this um, article which I'll link in the description down below um, but anyway, the point being is the Jurassic World T-Rex was always going to look uh, inconsistent to what we had in the first film because these two are inconsistent to one another. Um, so, you know, it, it, they could have made it completely one for one consistent with this one, but then you knock out this one because, you know, and, you know, the, uh, the, the CGI T-Rex in the first film is... The one that is actually in nearly all of the iconic shots, you know, the T-Rex breakout, the uh, the Gallimima sequence, the Jeep chase, the whole visitor center at the end. That's all this T-Rex here. The um, the animatronic, while, uh, you know, people might argue looks cooler than this one. You know, personally, I'm more of a CGI T-Rex guy, but uh, <laughs> I do love Stan Winston's design. I think, you know, it, lo it looks pretty menacing but uh but it's not in the majority of the film um but yeah obviously if they went 100 percent accurate to this one you sacrifice this one so you it would be consistent to most of the film that the the t-rex is in which is the cgi one but it it wouldn't be accurate to this to the animatronic so i can kind of see why they were like well let's see if we can blend the two and see what we get and that's what they did but now for the purposes of this video um i will i'm going to close that one because that was just an angle i was getting up of you know similar angles of the heads just facing the opposite and more to see like how the head crests here uh, are pretty pretty much on point to one another like you know they're they're <laughs> pretty much one for one the pointy head at that angle um even though like you know the head here is kind of pointing out like that like a cone shape uh, but down here it's more pointing down so th there's slight different angles in these shots but um yeah that's why i had that up um yeah we, we looked at that one so i've got this one here of the uh the end of jurassic world and i flipped the image 
uh, to match uh, what we're going to see in a second. Now, the reason I flipped it is because in Jurassic World, um, uh, sorry, in Jurassic Park, we don't. Where's that shot again? This this one here. We don't actually. So for the CGI Rex, not not necessarily the animatronic. Uh, yeah, not necessarily the animatronic, but to get a actual sort of completely. Uh, side on view of the T-Rex head in the original film you don't ever really get the opposite side you only get this side uh, right here in this shot here um, where it's sort of like directly on the side whereas it's the complete opposite in Jurassic World like obviously like I said this is a flipped image this is like a mirror image it should actually look like this um, <laughs> but in Jurassic World we don't get we get the opposite like I said we don't get the other side of that head flat on like this as best we can so what I've done is I've flipped the image and as I said I took the T-Rex's head off here so what I did was I um, cut it out as we can see here so it's uh, I went around it as best I could um, and then I've inserted it into this frame here so we can kind of get to see how the T-Rex head looks um, you know the CGI T-Rex head looks compared to the one in Jurassic World now obviously we're not doing the animatronic just yet we will get to that um, but then I noticed that obviously the jaw on this T-Rex is slightly open so we had to close the jaw so I, I just did a bit of tweaking just to close the jaw a little bit so we can actually see uh, how accurate the the Jurassic World T-Rex head is now what I'm going to do actually to get make it look easier on us is I'm going to take a red brush and I'm going to quickly make a new layer and we're going to draw around this now I might not I'm not gonna do the teeth because the teeth are you know they've gotten smaller in Jurassic World they've rotted away you know she's she's older the teeth aren't as thick and robust as they were when she was in her younger days and it, I think it's kind of it, it wouldn't be fair to try and compare that I'm doing more skull structure just to see how close this actually gets to uh, the t well how close the 2015 film and we will get on to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in a minute um, but how close Jurassic World in 2015 was to the original film because that was the film that was bringing her character back so let's just draw you know obviously this won't be one for one well, like exact because it's a bit rough and I don't know what's going on with my pen but my pen is not doing its whole uh, sketch thing why is it not doing that let's have a little look see come on there we go we got it now so go around like this got a bit on the rock and wrong on the end there but don't worry we can go back so the purpose of this video as well is not to convince anyone that the Jurassic World T-Rex is good if you don't like the design changes they made it's like that's fair enough you know you don't have to like it this is more just to see how close did they actually get because um, I thought that would be interesting um, and then I will get onto my like own personal thoughts and whatnot uh, towards the end. Um, and we got the eye there. I'll, I'll do the eye. This is this is just to get the basic shape down. Got the nostril there, and it looks like that goes up like that. And you've got the two. Yeah. Okay. So we've basically got the shape of the T Rex head there now. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> okay, so we can now do the same again, uh, but we'll do it in green. Doing some real detective work here. And we hear a lot of people say that the, uh, the Jurassic World T-Rex, its bottom jaw is not as thick as it should be, but looking at this you can see a fold in the skin here and one here and I think the back one is where the, the jaw actually ends 
the other one's a muscle so you can kind of see how the jaw is pretty thick that bottom jaw isn't small It's nice in the 2015 film to have a full-on side view of the Rex head like this. I think they really did show it off. Uh, I think that's that's the actual back bump, isn't it? Okay, and then... Maybe I'm I'm just gonna brighten this image just to see what I did with the other one. That's easier. That's easier to see now. And also, um I have seen people talk about how the Jurassic World T Rex doesn't have what they call the eye shadow. But I mean look at that. Look look at look at all this. That is dark. That she does have her eye shadow. <laughs> <laughs> like that that whole area there that is that is dark and you can even see some of the darkness goes down like this it's faded and i guess they designed it that way to show that you know she's older so they faded the color on her a bit she does still have her stripes down her back um that 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 can be seen in fallen kingdom and jurassic world uh obviously in like blink and you'll miss it moments but it is there um Okay, and we've got the, the bumps going down like that. And we've got the nostril there. And we've got that like that. Okay, so let's actually compare the two uh, like this. Let me get a background. So, oh wait, I can't do that for some reason. There we go. I might actually, because it's white, I might actually just darken it a bit like that so we can actually see. Okay, so that, the green is the Jurassic World Rex, the red is the Jurassic Park uh, CGI Rex. And you can already see that, the, um, as far as I can tell, the Jurassic World's T-Rex bottom jaw is <laughs> it's pretty thick. It's like it's bigger than the CGI one. Now, granted, obviously, you know the angle of these two shots is slightly different. I can imagine because, like this one, it's turned, it's turned away a bit more. It's like it's more that way, like turning away a bit. Whereas if you look at the Jurassic World one, you can actually start to see the bumps on the opposite side of its head right here. So it is more turned that way but as close as we can get you can kind of see that the uh you know that the two t-rexes are slightly different i think the main point of contention i hear from uh from fans who who dislike the design uh, they mainly talk about this area here, like they say it's not as angular, so like the, the, the Jurassic World T-Rex, which should be green, should be more like that. Well, let's take a look at the animatronic from Jurassic Park, shall we? Uh, so I've got this shot here. This is probably the best side-on view from the film that we see. Now I could use behind the scenes uh, images of the T-Rex. I've actually got, um, where is it, I've got one lined up here uh, of uh this one this is the the female t-rex from the lost world but the the thing about this animatronic is they molded it directly from the molds of the t-rex from the first film they just painted it differently so it's sort of one for one accurate of that and uh and i've also cut that head out i'll be doing something about that in a minute um but i want to use uh something from the film and obviously as you can see like the jurassic world one you can kind of see the start of its other horns coming through. So I figured actually that's a pretty accurate shot. So I've cut it out and I've brightened it up. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this image. We're going to flip it like this. Now, obviously, the bottom jaw is cut off and the back of the, the ridges are cut off here, which um, is going to be annoying uh, for the purpose of this experiment. Um, but we can always do the dough one at the end uh, from the Lost World, the, uh, this one here, to see 
uh, if it matches up. That might actually be more accurate, but I'm, I'm going to do this one for now because it's definitely from the first film. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna do this as uh, we'll do it as blue. Uh, will we? Yeah, yeah. We'll do it as blue. That's probably the best. Even though we're doing it on a blue image, um, and I might just brighten it a little bit more, just so we can see uh, where we're looking. Okay, yeah, that's better. Right, so. Detective Jack on the case. Let's have a look. That goes up like that. And we've got the eye ridge going up like that. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect because we're just going to do a line for, for the, uh, the bumps there and the eye is there this oh. actually I don't know why I can't get this my hand is at a weird angle Okay, now obviously the jaw is slightly open again. And we'll go down like this. <sighs> Bit of creative liberty there. <laughs> uh, Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. And let's transfer that into this one here. And we're going to have to obviously make it. So if I remove the Jurassic World one for the moment and sync this one up with the Jurassic Park E Rex, uh, the CGI version. Hmm. You can already see how it's uh, obviously again angles come into it like it could be a different angle but we can already see there is a difference obviously and the Jurassic World one should <laughs> kind of meet in the middle except for this I can see why this area of the mouth seems to be uh, seems to be off, but you can see the eyes in the middle the green is sort of going over a little bit and bear in mind the angles are all wrong but all well, the angles are all like slightly similar but yeah you can kind of see there the, the differences as best we can so let's uh what's the one I wanted to do next uh We'll do this one here. So I got the dough picture and I've cut out this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the jaw like so. This might actually be kind of interesting. I'm going to cut the jaw off like that. We're going to put it back but what we're going to do is just move the turning point, the jaw there. We're just going to close the jaw as it should, like so, and we will just cut off that meaty cheek flap bit so we can have a pretty accurate head right there. Look at that. Um, now, the reason I'm on this one is because of this shot here from Fallen Kingdom. This one here, I think, perfectly shows how the uh, the T Rex looks because what they did for Fallen Kingdom is they took the Jurassic World model that they had built and they'd fattened her up and gave her a few more scars and stuff on her leg and made her or like well, that might be from the Indominus Rex and stuff, maybe some scar. Yeah, I think there's some marks on her back as well. 
and they beefed her up because she's obviously been on the island for three years or however long she was free for eating. Because you've got to think, in Jurassic World... Um, let me open up an image. In, uh, in Jurassic World, you've got to think, story-wise, she's been inside a really small paddock for the size of the T-Rexes, because T-Rex have large territories. Um, and let me open up this image. I'll open up this one here because it's a pretty, pretty cool image. Um, let's open up this. Bear with me. So yeah, here. So she, she's been in a paddock for how long? <laughs> and that's why she looks as thin as she does. Um, and then when we get to Fallen Kingdom, she's much fatter. She's she's eaten, you know, because you got to think. Uh, some people like to bring up science when they bring up like how the bone structure and stuff in the skull won't work. And I'll, and I'll explain more about my own thoughts on that later. But if you're going to rely on the science, then you can't ignore the fact that a T-Rex in, in that paddock uh, eating goats. You know, do you know how many goats a Tyrannosaurus Rex would have to eat on a daily basis to be healthy? And it kind of alludes to the fact in, fact in the movie that, you know, they're, they're feeding her whenever they want to do a show. And is that enough? We don't know. But when she's out of her paddock and she's running around, you know, she's gotten much fatter. But the reason I also bring this picture up is because when the mouth is shut, it almost looks like the animatronic. It, to me, that looks like Stan Winston's animatronic T-Rex head. Um, almost one for one. I mean, look at look at the bloomin' jaw. Like, and it's it's very very similar. Um, but that's also why I wanted to get the doe's head. This shot here, sorry, reminds me of this shot here of the animatronic. Like it's it's very close. You know, you've got the the ridge is right on the top of the head. I mean, the angle of this one, you can see right here that the um that the you can see more of the bottom jaw. Like the actual jawline ends here, and that's the other side of it. Um, and obviously that makes the the front look more pointed. Um, so it's not exactly the same. But it is pretty pretty darn close to the animatronic. Um, but then I've got the doe here because I think that might be a pretty good way of uh, if I just put the opacity down, we can kind of just match it up just to see just for just for shits and giggles, just to see how close. So the, yeah, as I said, the Doe T-Rex from the Lost World was moulded from the uh, from the Stan Winston model of the T-Rex from the first film, so it, uh, it's pretty accurate. And you can see here, it's obviously aside from the teeth, and obviously the uh, this Doe picture is at a slightly different angle, but you can see that the the eye crest is pretty much one for one. <laughs> the right angle and the jaw is thick so yeah but now let's just for the f one of the final bits let's take this into our image here and what I want to do is take out put up, back up the Jurassic Park animatronic lines I did and I want to blow this up the how accurate I was Oh, you see, I think maybe this angle might be better. Uh, maybe I'll have to redo it. So let's have a look. Let's redo the lines. And, uh, oh, actually, let's let's try and match this up to this. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. So let's fade that. Try and match this. Oh, God, no, wrong button. I don't want to warp it because that completely make the experiment pointless. Okay, that's not, I mean, the eye is in a different sort of place compared to this animatronic. But then how does that look to the, yeah, I mean, different there. But I mean, the, the nose shape isn't 
Like the whole nose area isn't too far off actually. Maybe it's like that. Now notice something here. Now let me do the lines uh, as I did before. Let's get rid of that so I can actually see what I'm doing. So let's add the lines on. Actually, I need to get more accurate. Okay. Now we also have to take into account that I did warp this jawline, so whether the jaw is actually this, like this when the mouth is shut, might be a bit wrong, but just to get a basic sense of the shape. Uh, go here. Bump there, like so. Obviously, it goes down like that. There's the nostril. Got the eye here. So, and I think that is probably more accurate. So there we go, we've got the Jurassic World T-Rex there, and the Jurassic Park CGI one. So now, there you go, there's a better sort of, ac well, a better sort of way of looking at it. If you look, the Jurassic World uh, Rex, I'm going to use an orange one for the demonstration. You can see the line here it's like in the middle it's like right in the middle of the of the cgi and the animatronic the eye in the middle uh i guess this line isn't it might yeah maybe that's a bit off the crest kind of basically in the middle the nose horn or the nose bumps basically in the middle the nostril in the middle <laughs> the bottom jaw is thicker than the animatronic uh, that I just did you know you can see the blue line here so basically they sort of got it pretty close in my eyes to how a mix of the CGI T-Rex this one here and the animatronic head which is there you know the, obviously that's the dough but like the same exact uh, mold got the mix and you got the Jurassic World T-Rex now some people have said that you know the and there's probably a better shot of this actually for this one of these little points I'm making. Um let me see if I can find it. Oh, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh yeah, so you've got this the T-Rex here and some people say that it like looks younger than the other T-Rex and personally I don't see that. But um, what it does remind me of, the Jurassic World T-Rex, not so much the Fallen Kingdom T-Rex, um, which has, you know, as I said here, has the whole, like, pretty much it just looks like the animatronic head from the side. Um, uh, this one, they say it looks younger. Like I said, I don't really see that. But what it does remind me of is it does kind of remind me of the Phil Tippett uh, T-Rex. This is what the Jurassic World T-Rex look reminds me of the most uh which is interesting because uh the phil tippett one when um let me have a let me look this up when phil tippett was announced on the production of jurassic world uh colin trevorrow posted this picture of i mean it's a bit big but posted this picture of uh tippett and he's holding a maquette which pretty much to me looks like what they used for Jurassic World um, and it also looks like a maquette that they would have 
used for the uh, the Red Rex action figure. Uh, I mean, just judging by the arms and stuff. So this T Rex to me looks more like what we got in where's that picture gone in this final film. You know, to me that that looks pretty accurate to what we got. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this detective work and seeing how accurate is the T-Rex to uh, the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Um, and my own thoughts on this is, to me, it's you know, it, does, it doesn't really matter because, like the the it to me, it looks like the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Uh, like either the animatronic or the CGI I think in some shots it looks like the CGI in some shots it looks like the animatronic um, so it, it doesn't really bother me um, that it, it just doesn't bother me but the if, if they were to like tweak it to match uh, one of the T-Rexes from Jurassic Park um, I, I don't know. I guess they would make it look more like the animatronic, but then again, um, I, I think it already kind of looks like the animatronic. That, that's that's my own personal feeling on it. I mean, this this shot here, you've got two shots of the T Rex from the first film, the animatronic and the CGI, and then on this side, uh, although the Indominus is mostly in the way here, you can kind of see how they have blended the two head shapes. Like I said, the, the head shape of the, the CGI T-Rex is very square. Like you can go from the, the tops of the ridges here to the corners of the jaws here. And I'm, I'm assuming that's about there. And you can basically line it all up and it, ba it basically makes like a square shape. Whereas the animatronic goes down, but then it has these big jowls like this. It, it, there's a slight difference right here. This this isn't as round as this, um, but where when you look at the Jurassic World uh, T Rex, you can kind of see how the shape of the head, even like here on the animatronic one, you've got the ridge here, but then you've got this little back bit here, which is you know when you draw when you draw the T Rex from the side like this, you know what they're looking at is you know this this bit here, this bit here is is this little nub here, and you can see that even this has it uh, and also if you look at the eye socket like this whole area here you know with the with the ridge going up and the things going down and then you look at the Jurassic World one it has the exact same eye socket right here and right here um, and the jowls down here if you look the the jowls of the T-Rex are wider than what we see here when when the uh, the jaws down like this on the uh, the CGI one, and it looks more rounded like the uh, like the animatronic one, and yeah, so so to me, I think this looks like a blend of this. Um, now, don't get me wrong; some of the shots in Jurassic World look off, like they do. Is there's no doubt about it. Um, now I'm going to say something that some fans out there might be a bit find it a bit controversial, but um, but this is my own personal opinion on the matter. Um, this shot here, I'm going to open up another file now. This this shot here, I don't mind. This one here, I don't care. Like to me, that's the T-Rex. It looks like the T-Rex. It's the angle, the lens, you know, the way it looks. It looks very thin in the face like you can see it doesn't look like it has the big jowls or whatever but it also the the it's the the warping of the lens makes this whole area here look much uh i don't know it thins out this area here um but the rest of it like i, I well i just think it looks fine the shot that i don't like in 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 where it looks a bit weird to me is um is this shot here mainly because I, I, I don't know there's just something about this angle here that it I don't know now I'm looking at it I'm like I don't really doesn't really bother me <laughs> I, I think it's just something to do with the eye because uh, obviously the eyes are the windows to the soul or whatever so it's it's seeing that eye so prominent like that you can't you kind of want it to be uh, kind of like more angry looking like yeah you just want that there you go 
fixed it. One go. Just a couple of lines just covered the eye a little bit more. You want the angle like that and it looks fine. But when you open it high up like that, it looks it looks a bit like gormless, like it's just staring. Uh, it just looks like it's kind of like just staring off. So you can kind of imagine it's other eye doing that. <laughs> and I think that's why it's weird. Um, but, you know, it, it that doesn't bother me actually too much. But yeah, this shot here, a lot of people complain about. But for me, I doesn't bother me whatsoever it, i get that the camera angles look odd but then when you go to and oh, oh well let me get the most famous one of the most famous shots of uh oh, oh well, well here we go so for example there's the shot when the rex is walking away from blue you've got this shot here where the rex turns and you've got that shot and then uh this shot here and i really think this shot here shows how pretty accurate the t-rex head is to uh the older the older film um as best as it can be considering the old film had two designs but you can see the jaw uh goes down like that's actually a little bit like that and then you've got the angled uh, cheekbone bit like this and then you can imagine that that do that again I mean to me that looks like the Jurassic Park T-Rex I mean look at <laughs> look at that 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 is pretty darn close um, but it's like there, there's shots in the film like that where it looks to me it looks really accurate um to what we see in in the original film but then some people point out uh which i've seen on the internet they point out shots like um oh actually wait i'm just going to bring up a picture uh i don't know i'm not going to do that one um I was just about to talk about angles, but I'll I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, where is it? One of the most famous shots in the film. Yes, this one here. So pe people say about this one looking weird, and and I will agree. Like I can see exactly what they mean when they say that, um, because the head just looks like gigantic compared to the rest of the body. Um, Again, that's framing. It's not so much the model, it's actually just like the, the lens. But when the shot continues, people use the shot that I'm showing you right here as an example, but the T-Rex isn't static in that shot. So when you go from this, which was actually, um, let me, when you go from that to, let me see if I can bring this up. gonna see so like people uh complain about this shot looking weird which you know it does uh, to a degree um where is this where is this poster uh oh i've lot i can't find this particular poster Where are we looking? Um, oh, for God's sake. It's, it's funny how like they're really easy to find when you don't want to find them. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let me see. I'm just going to... I'm using a different search engine, so let me go to Google. I bet I'll find it straight away on Google, won't I? Nope. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, Google search. Google's image search now is dreadful. Um, this image was like famous. It was like... Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. All over the place. Right, okay. So, you've got... 
this image here, which is the poster for Jurassic Park, which to be honest, I don't I I don't like this poster because they're using the Jurassic World render uh, of the T Rex. Like I like the rest of it. It's just that T Rex like that. It's like yeah, come on. But you can see already if I if I bring up the T Rex here like so. If you look the shot that they're using and i believe that is the same exact uh shot they've just twisted the head a bit if i merge this so they've used this shot and it yeah look at that it's one for one exactly when the when the head's tilted you can see the teeth line up everything so my point is that they've used this shot here and it is this specific frame that I'm showing you right here that a lot of fans use as an example of the T-Rex looking weird, which I agree does. But for me personally, when the shot continues and you get to this this angle here, yes, the T-Rex, uh, the you know, the head still looks big, but this looks way better than that. I think there's something about the angle of the T-Rex and the way it's shot. In the same exact shot, the, this shot here looks better than that one and that is to me a perf the perfect example of how the Jurassic World T-Rex might be perceived as being more inaccurate than it actually is um, so you like you and this one shot demonstrates both of it in this shot here it looks weird it's like where's like you want the uh, the this to be more angled you want to find see the other horn or whatever like sticking out but on this one, you can see it does look more angled and it's more, it's, it's basically, uh, it, it looks more like the actual, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Uh, but yes, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, it's probably been a bit of a waffling on, um, but I figured I'd give my two cents into the matter. Um, I think that if they were to change it for Dominion, I don't know what they could do. That's my honest answer in that. I don't know what they could do really to make it look like the original T-Rex any more than it already does. Mainly because, uh, I guess, coloration, um, you know, they don't fade it. Because I think in Fallen Kingdom, you know, like I said, in, in the original film, in, in the original film, it has these dark eyes, as people have pointed out. And in Jurassic World, it does still have the dark eyes, as you can see right here it has those dark eyes whereas when you get to fallen kingdom um, and i have a shot right here you know in the broad daylight right here you should see that the eye area here is dark like you can see that it is a darker tone than the rest of the body but it should be more let's uh, do a little bit of a it should be just maybe slightly darker just just by a tad like maybe like that you know something like that but but the point being that they they faded it and i guess that's you know to show age and whatnot and it's like i don't know but but yeah i can see maybe they could change that but it's not uh i don't think it's a skull structure thing and if they were to change the skull structure i don't see how they're gonna fit how that would be an improvement mainly because as i've shown here uh the Jurassic World T-Rex is in the middle. It matches. It's it's in between these two right here. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying our commentaries for different films. Oh, and if you're wondering that T-Rex in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, if you're wondering where that's from, uh, just to end on, uh, that's from Jurassic World. That's this shot. Uh, where is it? I've got it somewhere. Here. That's this shot here of the T-Rex slamming onto the Indominus. I just fat cut it out, brightened it up, turned it, and we've got a head there. And so you can see already, like, that T-Rex there, that looks mean. That looks like the T-Rex that we know and love, to me. Um, it's even got, like, the big, thick um, bobbles all along the head here uh, that the animatronic had. Um, I don't know if I've got a shot of that. But anyway, 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 besides the point. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the uh, commentaries that we're doing to keep you guys all entertained. Um, we have Alien vs. Predator coming out very soon after this video. Um, and yeah, I, uh, if you can, uh, go learn about Dino Defenders. Episode 3 
I am on to the final frame of episode three of Dino Defenders right as we speak. Well, not not now. I'm doing this video, but like I've got it. I'll be working on it tonight, and um, and then it will go off to the composer once I've got the dialogue in. So yeah, that's on its way. Um, expect more news, a lot more news about that coming soon. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. Stay safe. Stay Jurassic. <laughs>